You know, there's a third lasso tool that I haven't mentioned just yet. He's called the magnetic lasso tool, and you'll find him buried underneath the set of lasso tools there. There he is right there down at the bottom. I think you'll really like this guy too, because what he'll do is he'll create a selection, or he'll help you create a selection, by trying to detect high contrast edges. For example, the white background and the edge of a rusted object, right? That's sort of a high contrast edge. And the magnetic lasso tool is going to try and find those those high contrast edges. So go ahead and grab your magnetic lasso tool out of the toolbox. What we're going to do is we're going to try and make some ears for this guy on both sides of his face, obviously. So what I'll do here, I'm just going to pan over one more time into our, our pile of stuff here. And it's this sort of L-shaped bracket that I'm after. I think that would make a, a half-decent ear. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on this bracket here. And the the way that you work with this guy is he's really, really easy to work with. All I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a starting point, maybe on the right-hand side over here somewhere. And all I'm going to do is just single click with the mouse. That's it. And then all I have to do is simply move my mouse. I'm not clicking and dragging. All I'm doing is I'm moving my mouse along this high contrast edge. Again, the edge of the object, obviously, here. And it's a high contrast edge because there's such a dramatic difference between the darkness of the object, the dark pixels in the object, and the white background. If you have a situation where maybe it's a person or a car or some kind of another object on, you know, a solid colored background, a light background and the object itself or the person is fairly dark, then this could be an option for you. And once again, all I'm doing is just moving my mouse all the way along. Now, what's kind of cool is as I'm moving my mouse along the edge of the object here, again, at any time, I can just hold down the space bar and that'll toggle me to the hand tool. And I'll just move my object over a little bit here. And then I'll just kind of keep going here along the edge of the object. The other thing that I wanted to show you as well is as you're going along, it's pretty easy to do here, what you may want to do is you might come to a point in your object where you do want to make sure that there's a selection node. You'll notice if you look back on the trail that I've kind of left here, there's some tiny dots, some tiny points. And what I can do is I can force the magnetic lasso tool to drop one of these points just by single clicking. So perhaps you're coming into an area where the contrast drops a little bit. Well, then you can start single clicking with this guy, almost like the polygonal lasso tool. So anyway, hopefully all good here. All right, so I'm headed down the left-hand side of the object here. I'm just going to hold down my space bar and kind of continue on here all the way around the object. Now, what I'm going to do here with you is I'm going to speed it up a little bit because I want to show you a few other neat tricks. Now, what's interesting to note, though, is when I come across the bottom of the object, we have a, a shadow from the, the flash on my camera. I could try and get across that shadow, and to my great surprise, actually, it looks like the magnetic lasso tool is smart enough. It still sees that high contrast edge there, which is really good. But, you know, if you wound up grabbing some of that shadow, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you a really cool trick in just a moment for carving away that that shadow there again the result of my camera flash all right we are getting there i'm gonna really kind of zip along here if that's all right with you because i think you're, you're getting the idea here so i'm just gonna continue along here i am gonna grab the shadow in this situation though or in this little part here i think there's like a little bolt head or something going through the the bracket there anyway so i'm just over top of that. And you'll, you'll notice there, if I just move my eye back on my little trail a little bit, it grabbed some of the background there. We're going to fix that. We're going to clean that stuff up in just a second. Because the magnetic lasso tool does a great job, but sometimes, you know, it goofs up or sometimes the selection isn't perfect. That's okay. I'm going to show you how to create some perfect selections in just a second here. Okay, all the way back over to the starting point. Again, I get the donut beside my cursor. I will single click and that will finish off my selection and convert it to marching ants, which is great. So there's a look at the magnetic lasso tool, albeit a very brief look. Now, the next thing that we'll do is we'll tidy up our selection. We'll get rid of the drop shadow areas that we went and grabbed. We'll get rid of the background there as well. And you'll see how to do that next.